We all know the beloved show Sesame Street. I mean, the show's been on air for 51 years. Originally airing November 10, 1969, it has helped generations of children grow and develop. But as with all long-running shows, there are those of controversy. In this video, we are going to dive into the lost episode of Sesame Street. But before we get started, be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, followed by the bell notifications, so you never miss an upload. The year is 1976, Season 7, Episode 847, Air Date, February 10th. The title of the episode, Wicked Witch of the West Loses Her Broomstick. In this episode, the Wicked Witch of the West, reprised by Wizard of Oz actress Margaret Hamilton, wreaks havoc on the streets of Sesame Street when she loses her flying broomstick. Now, the point of the episode was to demonstrate fear, which, let me tell you, it did. But it was also to demonstrate the value of planning by creating and executing methods of retrieving the lost broom. But after the release of the episode, and I mean very shortly after, the studio received massive amounts of negative mail from concerned parents regarding their child's genuine fear of the episode. Parents stated that their children no longer wanted to watch the show, and they even used phrases such as that their children were screaming and in tears, and that the threat of the witch's power remained in their child's eyes. They even began to receive letters from self-proclaimed Wiccans that were upset with the appearance and stigma related to the witches and wanted a more realistic approach and design. But nevertheless, with the large amounts of concern, the studio began to run tests of the video in a field study during March 1st through the 5th to assess children's reactions to the Wicked Witch of the West. The test showed that children were extremely attentive during Margaret Hamilton's segment and that those that watched in color were extremely fascinated by her green face. The fear of the episode itself though was tough to really judge, one due to children's confusing answers and two the fact that children were watching with their parents rather than alone. But due to the large amount of complaints as well as the testing observations, Anna Herrera of the CTW Research Department said it was best advised not to re-air the Wicked Witch episode. Thus, the episode was archived, never to be released again. Although in November of 2019, clips were shown at a museum of the moving image as part of the Jim Henson Legacy event, Sesame Street, The Lost and Found. Now, I know this sounds like your typical creepypasta episode, but this episode did indeed air, and it frightened countless children. I mean, in all honesty, I don't know why they thought the Wicked Witch of the West would be a good idea. I mean, she even frightened adults in The Wizard of Oz. And I know what you're thinking right now, how and why. But keep in mind, this was the 60s, and they didn't have the type of movies and shows, special effects, and makeup that they have now. Regardless, the episode of Sesame Street is locked away, supposedly for good, but would kind of be cool if it aired today. I know I personally would love to see it, but as always, let me know what you think, and would you watch the episode of The Wicked Witch if it was to air? Lastly, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button. I appreciate it so much and it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, Make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow the bell notification so you never miss an upload. See you guys next video.